Hey, welcome back to the Yugaman channel. And today <laughs> we are about to talk about the trending topic, keeping my 10K. So like many of you know that uh, uh, the committee that was interested with collecting funds from the private sector uh, during this COVID-19 period came out and sent a letter to the CEOs asking them to contribute 10,000 Uganda shillings towards um, the COVID-19 task force from every employee in their companies. So this is what uh, the letter read like. It was from the Office of the Prime Minister, National Response to COVID-19, date 12th May 2020. Um, the reference was COVID-19 2019, 2020. Okay, dear Chief Executive, as we face of the world's most serious health emergence, now is the time we must come together and work collectively to complement the government's efforts and save the lives of Ugandans during this time. As you are aware, his Excellency President Yoel Museveni recently established the National Response COVID Fund to mobilize resources from the private sector to supplement an already strained Ministry of Health in its combat against the COVID pandemic. We are writing to make an appeal to all the chief executives of the private sector organization to join our efforts in mobilizing, the, in mobilizing to raise funds for the much needed resources and materials that will help save the lives of Ugandans. Our appeal, as good corporate citizens, we would like to request each chief executive to extend our appeal to all the employees to dedicate part of May's payroll and appreciate to donate at least 10000 per employee to support the cause. We would appreciate if you dedicated someone from your organization to mobilize all the employees and send us one organizational payment to the options below. We also request, where possible, that your organization matches the employee contribution. Making a deposit to Stanbic Bank dedicated to COVID accounts. Okay, so the accounts are mentioned here and also mobile money instructions are given in the letter. Okay, so every single contribution will go a long way as we try to raise more funds for personal protection, gear, testing kits and support materials for the medical teams on the front line. We wish to extend our sincere gratitude to all organizations that have made immense contribution towards this cause and thank you for the continued support. Now is the time to act and once again, we thank you most sincerely for your immense support. Regards, Emmanuel Katongole, Chairman, Uganda National Response Fund to COVID-19 and Patrick Mweheire, Chairman, Fundraising Subcommittee, National Response COVID Fund. So that is the letter that was read, I mean, that was sent out to CEOs. Now, Ugandans have taken to Twitter and established a hashtag, keeping my 10K. Okay, so as you look at the screen, what actually you see now is what Ugandans have actually been tweeting out um, as regards the letter that was sent out to CEOs asking them that they contribute 10,000 towards the National COVID Response Fund. Now, many Ugandans actually are saying they are not ready to give the 10K. And if you read the content that these Ugandans have actually been putting out, it shows you clearly that, in fact, one even dared the government that why not collect the 10K door by door instead of asking the CEOs to reduce 
the maize salary even when some people have already got their salaries cut down so this is a very very contentious issue because many people actually right now are locked indoors they don't have much to use in their houses and of course as this request comes in from the covid response uh, committee i think it's actually got it's it's a two-sided thing because if people are already locked down and many people don't even have the assurance that they are going to receive their salaries on time, then why ask um, the CEOs to cut the money that is meant for their employees? So I don't know what you guys think about this um, this event, but what I can certainly tell you is um, if I read what I say here, I can do anything just to tweet about this hashtag, I will not give my 10K, okay? Somebody has written, you refuse to give your posho, now you also want my 10K, okay? Um, COVID-19, pay the 10K or go to jail, okay? Someone joked here, okay? So for what those names to our MPs, we work on them, okay? So, my aunt told me yesterday, if you have money and keep begging from the poor, you become something else, okay? You become a brave, shameless goon, okay? That is someone else commenting here. So, if you look at how people are responding, this is actually looking like it is not something Ugandans are agreeing to. And we are yet to confirm, we shall see the response, but... It looks like a very, very tricky deal for the CEOs to accept and cut the already overtaxed salaries of workers, okay? You need also to remember that we don't have a minimum wage. So you even don't know how much money you're cutting the 10K from, okay? So as the committee keeps requesting for more money to come in, um, they also need to understand that many Ugandans do not have structured salaries and many actually still even earn peanuts after spending lots of hours on their jobs. Um, as many of you may understand that we actually have been supporting this campaign of you know coming together to raise funds. But I think in a way, if, if the committee comes out to actually make it more or less like mandatory, you know, for, for, for organizations to act, it's, it's a bit tricky. It's a very, very big, big, tricky issue because you even have no idea how many people must contribute, okay? Many organizations don't contribute in NSSF. Many organizations don't even have all their employees paying tax. So when you ask them that, you know, let everybody pay for the organizations that have already contributed, how are you going to attribute that contribution that they have already given? And if you want others to pay, how are you going to equate what other brands that have already offered or even individuals, why would you want to cut a mandatory 10K from them? Okay, because this looks like a request on paper, but um, for organizations that affect it, I don't think they will even have a very, very formal conversation with their employees before implementing such. So anyway, you guys can go to Twitter, find out more about this topic. But um, the campaign that Ugandans on Twitter have started seems like it is not in support of giving the 10K from every employee. You guys can let me know what you think in the comment section. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share these conversations with your friends. And of course, do not forget to drop a like. So I would like to thank you so much and uh, enjoy. You can go to Twitter for more conversations. Bye.